Okay, so with the rise in people looking for 2000 level in chess, you know, everybody seems to be on the bandwagon of, oh, I'm going to get 2000 in such and such a time and all this type of um, situation. I just think, where is this obsession with actual numbers, rating numbers? You know, you can be a 2000 rated chess player but your chess may still really not be that good so do you want to be a good 2000 player or one who just um gets by through the skin of the teeth type thing just to hit a target but you're not really that good so that's where i'm losing my mind you know um and i'm just thinking to myself what is the point why are people so interested in ratings so we're looking at, <laughs> in this session, we're looking at what is the kind of rating level we think this player is. We'll never know because they are a guest. So we don't know the rating, but they've just hung their queen. So are we going to put this in the level of a 300? Yep. Yeah. So let's have a look and see what happens from here. Was it a set player thing, getting rid of the queen? Can we go and attack this pawn? Does the rook have this sort of situation going on here? But if they do, we can take the knight. Let's continue as is for now. And take the pawn. And they do go for that, thinking the knight is protecting. So we can take the knight. There doesn't look like to be any follow-on. Because the bishop is here and the rook is there. So I'm always very careful. You never know if you're falling into some sort of fancy checkmate type thing. You know, my queen is the only one doing all the work, but somehow they're improving the position of their pieces. But it doesn't look that way in this particular game. So I will put them as a 300, probably, if not less. But they look like they know what the moves are doing. All right, we'll go with a 300 for that one. <laughs> Thank you.